Hello YouTube, this is me Heidi and today I'm gonna show you how to layer some drums two drums actually I have taken two drums from my sample library here breakbeat, breakbeat number 4 and breakbeat number 5 I added them here and on instrument track but you know actually we're gonna start over okay so we take I choose this one number 5 I'm gonna group it and then I'm gonna place the show height channel list. And then I'm gonna add the play bit the drum number four here. But I have noticed these aren't in mono, so I like to use my drums in mono, but you know I'm gonna throw one now. Right here. I need this one on the second one again here. But I'm gonna use the utility, I'm gonna show you. So okay. So we have the first drum, good drum, I just made it in mono, second drum we're gonna made it, make it mono as well. So now we have two drums that are mixed together. Okay I'm gonna show you my technique. So for example if I'm gonna make an instrumental in A minor, I usually like to use a drum that uses the root note, which is A. It doesn't always has to be like this. So let's see what note this drum has. It's an A. It's an A sharp. Somewhere over there. You can see the the note of the drum over here on the left side. Okay, so this one is an A sharp, approximately, and this one is A A sharp. It's kind of like the same thing okay <coughs> the best way to mix these drums, the drums together is either to use let's for example let's say a minor it's a c and e we could use the a i mean a drum plays the a note a drum plays the c note or a drum plays the a note or pl a drum plays the e note or a drum plays the c note and so on the whole a minus K actually but I usually like to use the root note okay so uh, if we are gonna play these two together they're gonna sound good because they're that pre how do you say it pre sorted th these drums that's gonna sound like this but the technique to make these two drums sound good is this you make what I made here an instrument rack I grouped one, I added the second one and on one of those drums, the first one or the second one, I'm gonna invert the phase. What phase inversion does is, uh, let's say for example if you have a, so for example you have a drum with a frequency and with a volume. Uh, if you have a positive output of a drum that has a frequency, a certain frequency and a certain volume let's say you have a positive this one we're gonna call this one a negative we press the the phase inversion on the left one on the, on the right channel so this one is a negative and this one is a positive so if you have a drum that has a positive output and you have the same drum that has a negative output the the total sum of those two is gonna be zero because they're gonna cancel each other out but in this case we have a drum that has a certain frequency it's like a a sharp and a certain volume and this one isn't the same on an a and an a and an, and an a sharp so if i'm gonna mix those two together they should sound close but if i have the phase inversion here they're gonna cancel each other out but not totally because they don't have actually they don't have the same frequency but they're gonna cancel only the frequencies that they both have you know so let's play and see yeah you can see they cancel each other out a little bit you can you can notice this if you use the the transpose button on one of them so for example I'm gonna pull down that the volume started to rise I'm gonna pull up again they cancel each other out up the same back again cancel each other out so 
I can say now that, that these two drums have the same notes because they started to cancel each other out when I had the phase inversion uh, plugin activated. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna deactivate the phase inversion and keep on. For example, if I'm gonna use this drum, I'm gonna just leave it like this because it's perfectly mixed with the other drum. Or I can press the phase inversion and add another drum to it. Well, basically this is my setup of uh, mixing drums, actually layering drums together. It's a simple way, it just uses uh, phase inversion and the principle of uh, cancellation frequencies. So maybe you found this useful, I don't know, this is, this is just my first tutorial, so YOLO.